Well, we keep on getting these very persistent rumors that Henry Cavill has indeed signed for the MCU, and many people are full on speculating what character he could be. Could he be Doctor Doom? Could he be Captain Britain? Or could he be a character we know is right around the corner? Let's take a couple minutes to talk about Henry Cavill, his future in the MCU, and one of the most illogical destinations for him to land once he signs that contract. I hope to have room for him at the Xavier School of Mutants. Now, before we do that, though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring that bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos. We want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are in the know. Well, guys, Henry Cavill is a pretty hot topic these days when it comes to him picking up other roles. He endeared himself to fans as the Man of Steel, and honestly, that run on that character, he never really got his due or his time to give the character the love you could tell the actor wanted to bring. He has officially moved on from that and is working on some new interesting things like Warhammer and Highlander, but there have been persistent rumors he's joining the MCU. Now, we've covered these some in the past. And many people have speculated in the MCU he could pick up a character like Captain Britain, which he's expressed some interest in playing in the past, or maybe even Victor Von Doom. Which, honestly, I think Cavill would be near perfect for and really draw some contrast from the character he played over at DC. Now, recently, there have been more rumors about him potentially landing in the MCU, but the talk has been around a much different character, and this particular character, I think, is going to be very important to the future of the MCU in general and be front and center a lot more than anybody realizes. As many of you know, Marvel reobtained the rights to all those Fox characters, which included the X-Men. We're awaiting X-Men 97 right now, but the big question is about the live-action X-Men and when they could first appear. Now, we are hearing stories that in Deadpool 3 we could run into some of the original actors, but it's pretty clear to me Marvel has plans for the X-Men moving forward, and a face like Henry Cavill leading that team would be incredible. The general consensus is if he is going to be part of the X-Men, he would indeed play Scott Summers, aka Cyclops. And honestly, if they do pick him up to play that character, it is a pretty bold casting. Now honestly guys, I think Cavill could make a pretty great Scott Summers. He definitely has the look, and I could totally see him playing a leader of a team. Cyclops himself is somebody who was very underserved in the original X-Men movies, and I think Marvel Studios would definitely go out of their way to make sure they do this character justice this time around, and that might be precisely what attracts Henry Cavill to the role. Now, obviously it's unconfirmed, but Cavill leading up that team would definitely put a huge spotlight on that new franchise, and with no Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Evans right now standing out in front of the MCU, and Tom Holland potentially making an exit, well, we know the Fantastic Four and the X-Men are going to be the next generation, and they're definitely looking for the faces that are going to lead those two teams. Pedro Pascal, an up-and-coming star, has taken up the role of Reed Richards, so they're definitely going to be looking for a big, recognizable name that people love to take up the role of Scott Summers, and honestly guys, if they picked up Henry Cavill to do it, that would be a massive win for Marvel Studios. It also might be a very attractive role to Cavill, since Superman got so underserved over at DC, he might want to make sure if he signs on for another one of these type of roles that it actually is done justice, and I'm sure if they bring him into the MCU, well, they've presented him with a multi-film plan playing the character, and that means Marvel's got massive plans for the X-Men, meaning crossovers and big X-Men events drawn right from the comics, which should make the future of the franchise very exciting. Now, once again, not confirmed, just sort of in the rumor mill state, but definitely something we would be excited for on this channel, and hopefully we get some kind of official news on his casting in the MCU sometime soon. It's still in the rumor stage, but this totally feels like one of those situations of where there's smoke, there's fire, and there is definitely more smoke than we can ignore. 